This year, for the first time, we're not publishing any figures on executions in China for a simple reason, that the, the Chinese government continues, despite repeated appeals, to maintain secrecy around the, the number of executions. Now, and they also argue at the same time that uh, there is a decrease in executions. So it's a very simple question. If, in fact, there is a decrease in executions in the use of the death penalty, why aren't these figures made public? In the past, we've used uh, uh, estimations, uh, and in any case, whatever figures one can come up from available information uh, grossly underestimate the reality. Thousands of people continue to be killed in China, and we want the Chinese government to give us the exact figures as well as to tell us uh, uh, what is it that they're doing to uh, progress towards abolition. Ni 枪毙后留下的毛巾这样的东西 It was harsh on a day-to-day -day basis just having to live um, under such conditions being locked down not you know only because of our sentence and not because of anything that we did that kind of treatment is reserved for inmates who transgress the rules inside the facility. You go to lockdown where you can't come out, but death row is locked down all the time. Today we're pleased to say that uh, we do see an end in sight uh, for the death penalty. Uh, I've been with Amnesty International for more than 24 years, and I've seen uh, how progressively the death penalty has been eliminated from country after country. More people around the world uh, are realizing that this is a punishment uh, that is uh, against human dignity. It doesn't achieve any, any purpose. Uh, and it should be confined to history the same way as uh, slavery, as uh, apartheid, and some of the other things that today we consider our abominations uh, have been consigned uh, to history. What we see today uh, and what we see last year for the first time ever, there were no executions in Europe. In the Americas, the United States was the only country that was still killing people through executions. And even in Africa, in sub-Saharan Africa, only two countries were still doing so. So uh, it will take uh, a struggle still, and we need to be active and continue to campaign around the world. But uh, uh, we are seeing uh, the end of the death penalty getting closer.